So the last in testing, this is a good one. <laughs> okay. And usually it's not going to be like this. Okay. So um, the easy to see, we have a sigmoid column here. Okay. So we have the ileo sigmoid valve and sigmoid column here. There's a two. What is the big curve here? So the um, ileo sigmoid valve and this appendix is right here. So um, you see here, from the here, from, you touch on here, on the hip here, mm -hmm. hip, and right in here. Mm -hmm. Who have um, appendix operation? You can look at it. It's right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And one thing about the ileo sigmoid valve, and the food has to be digested to be very liquid in order to pass to this hole, okay? Pass to this hole. And uh, from here, it started to pile up, pile up, and pushing, 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 pushing up. And if this one fall too much, you have to push here and go this way. Go down here, and go this way. So the food sometimes can be, in our intestine, a normal person is 24 hours. And that is, you know, that it started to have more uh, bacteria growing, everything go, growing there. So this valve is the number one to open it, the valve, okay? So there are four corners. Uh, this one is a very intelligent, actually, and we think that is extra. <laughs> they have very intelligent and they're involved with the glands. They're working in one with the gland to creating some of the um, uh, some of the West they discover that they have intelligence and they have a function for that for the connecting with the gland producing certain type of hormone and a certain type of cells inside here. So there's the appendix. It doesn't mean that it's no use. Yeah, it's, it doesn't mean that no use. <laughs> we think it's no use, you know. Mm -hmm. The only one thing that yeah, the toxic, you know, go in, you know, and usually it should not go in. Because it's a very small hole also. There's no way to go in there. And, um, and uh, because the, if we don't clean up our intestine and we get the big trouble for that. Now, so the first one to open the, this valve, you need the oil. So this, um, this is very good oil that we blend, uh, the few blend of oil here. Sesame, coconut, a lemon glass, and uh, we have the um, pie. Pie is very expensive. So you put it here. So number one, we call, number one, you first, you massage this area. Feel any tension and touch it here, this area. If they have a problem, you can find them. Hey, <laughs> no problem, you're not going to find them. So you massage this area. Find any problem here. Okay. So you are finding when you're finding one point or one area, you just concentrate on that. Because there's so much in here. There's so much thing in one abdominal. And you touch on it, sometimes you touch like this. You, you are over so many things on the top. Below there is so many things down there. Okay? The iron layer by layer under it. So when you touch. When you really lightly touch, a lot of information telling you. Uh, you touch, it's a lot of information tell. Okay? So when you try to find this valve, when there are no problem, you don't feel them very well. Okay? When the problem, you feel it are not there. Now when the infection, you know it, it's no so pain, and appendix pain is terrible. Okay? But if you try to make it so you correct it from here, you way you do is you very slowly correct. Find very we call fine a needle under the sea. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you go like this, you're not going to find anything. <laughs> you just, you're not going to find anything there. But every single inch here, they can be causing big problem. That's why the Chinese junk take hour and hour work on here, and people can heal. Because you're finding a needle under the sea. Otherwise, you go like this, you know, three hours, you still, the muscle will relax, but uh, nothing happened there. 
no? here, here is the problem here. So you find here. Now we want to open them more. So put the oil in here. Don't put too much oil, okay? And here. You press again the bone and you press it this way. Yeah, you hold like this, you hold a little bit more here, and you press, you see, twist, okay, just here, twist. Okay, so there is one corner. Now, you have the sigmoid column also can be stuck here, stuck, because, um, there are, there are four ways that can be stuck. It's a four corner, one corner. And the uh, transverse column, when the last intestine come up, so usually a lot of people go like this, come up to the corner, right here I have corner. And they are tendon, they are tendon. They are tendon right on here. Tendon that hold the, the last intestine together. It's on here, okay? And if we don't exercise them, it can weak. And there are too much stool in there, the tendon loose. And the last intestine, last intestine is here the sternum, here the solar plexus, here the navel. So it go about near the navel. And when some people, it go this way down, <laughs> below the navel. So go like this, go like this. So the, the whole last intestine is like elastic. It can enlarge. But when the elastic gone, it hang down. And you're going to have big bow here. So they need to exercise the, the, the I mean, they have to, ex they have to, when you do this, you exercise the last intestine and you move. You tell the exercise, uh, to exercise, okay? So the next one is the uh, ileocecal valve. It goes this way, okay? And go this way. So, um, now, also check for the problem here. You check this area. Start from here to here. Check them. Okay. Some, some tight it here. So you feel the um, last intestine there. Okay. And um, you're releasing it. If there is a blockage with the stool, with little force, it goes. But with our own force, it's going to take, take a long while to stuck there and don't move. And just stuck and it don't move at all. So you go from here. You use your, yeah, this part, go this way. Okay. So that is, you are moving this. Sigma colon. Colon of, yeah, of, of the sigma colon. Rectum. Mm -hmm. The rectum, to the rectum. So you take these two valves open first. Mm -hmm. People, like in the West, when people valve are stuck, big problem, so they use ice. <laughs> they ice. use the ice, right? Ice, put it there and freeze them. When you freeze, it's so freeze, and you, and you take out, and it open. <laughs> Okay, there's one way to use the eyes to freeze them, <laughs> because this is stuck. <laughs> and if it can be, often time it can be stuck. When it's stuck, you know, you can feel it pain, stuck here. It blow off, stuck, because intestine nowhere to go. It blow off. Uh, a lot of time it's stuck because we eat, um, we eat certain food, uh, toxic, and the body don't know what to do, it close it. And the valve contract first. Stress, pain, fear, phobia, everything will close the system. And the system, sometimes it shut down and you don't want to open it. And it can blow, 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 and you have to push, push, push so hard and pff, go through. That's how your body works. And um, so um, you, now, the next one is this two corner. 
these two corners under the rib cage here. So that is um, you put your hand. It's about this area. The last intestine is coming this way to here, coming down like this, hanging this way, and going back this way. A lot of people you see if this one blow off mm -hmm. here, if in here blow up like this, mm -hmm. the last intestine come up here. Okay, so you have to be pushed. <laughs> Push. The last intestine are different. Okay, and um, when they have lost stool, you feel them, also. But the no stool, you also can feel. You you start from here. They feel the last intestine. You have to be quiet, a, a calm, and lightly touch. You don't go like this. You lightly touch, and you feel the intestine here, here, the, here. Okay. And you come up to here. Now from here, it's coming down this way. So you find them. Some people are very hard. You find them very hard. The gas, the stool, and everything, the fat. So some people, they don't eat in the stomach, and they have a lean stomach, but all the intestine, everything, all blockage there. So some people, is, um, they, they don't eat. They just try to fast and try to wear very tight clothes and the dummy have nowhere to go. So from here, you have to release this area. So one, two corner here. So one corner, two corner, three corner, four corner. Okay? And you check this area. Okay, so um, just now. Because the last intestine is very surface. Okay, so it's not. So the technique to do the last intestine is press one. And two, scoop, scoop, about three to six times, scoop, scoop back to the center. And you come up from here, and you scoop, and you come back here. Okay, now from here, you push. We don't want them to be expand too much, okay? And from here, you come down. Okay, go right there. Okay, so again, one. You can do a few times, three times, to open the valve to get it moved. And one, two, three, four, five. Now you come up to scoop under the rib cage, go along toward the navel, down, and just think like a roll of bread, yeah. Just keep on kneading. Okay, and you really now. Okay? So that is the, um, if you do a few times, it's move. Have the last intestine move. Okay?